Um, I think we can learn a huge amount from uh, the world of fintech and financial services. Uh, financial services have been hugely disrupted uh, by a number of new players entering the market um, and they've been really responsive in both positive and negative ways. I think one of uh, the really good examples uh, of a company that has done really great things in the fintech space is Mastercard. Um, so just to give you a sense of uh, Mastercard's amazing advantages in the market, they can transact 22,000 different uh, transactions every second. So it's huge, huge scale. What they can't do is necessarily innovate from a user experience perspective because what they're really good is delivering those 22,000 transactions per second. What they've done is they've created a platform, the Mastercard brand, uh, and they've created a number of APIs which are ways for developers to interact with their technology so that loads of fintech businesses have actually built their whole business using Mastercard technology. Uh, so companies like Monzo, Curve, uh, Revolut, which is the currency uh, new app. What's great about this is it means that Mastercard can benefit from all of the innovation that's happening on the front end. So from a user experience point of view, whilst really doing what they do best and creating great technology on the back end to uh, power all of those different transactions. Um, so I think what we can really sort of fundamentally learn from the example of someone like Mastercard is that you don't, if you're a legacy business, necessarily have to be the trendiest and coolest uh, user experience uh, company. What you can do is really focus on what you're really good at, but most importantly, come up with ways for others to collaborate with you and innovate using your platform.